Yo, what up, what up? Welcome back. I'm your host, B. Ryder, co host, J. Bell. And this is Final, Final Thoughts. Tonight, we are discussing Astro World with Travis Scott. <laughs> Check it out. On November 5th, 2021, chaos erupted in the crowd at what should have been a normal concert as an estimated 50,000 people gathered at Travis Scott's Astro World Music Festival. As the event progressed and panic ensued, the crowd surged and many concertgoers trampled others, ultimately leaving at least 10 people dead and hundreds more injured. The tragedy left many questioning how the concert continued for so long turning it into one of the most deadly concerts in U.S. history. And while details are still unfolding, ABC News gathered videos and documents from that night to piece together what we know so far. At 9.25, the Apple live stream showed Scott stopping the show for the first time to draw attention to someone in the crowd who needed help. Make sure he good. Elijah, you walk with him. Take him, take him. He would stop the show two more times in response to the chaos in the crowd. A half hour after taking the stage, Scott paused the show for a second time as an ambulance drove through the crowd. At 9.38, Houston PD and firefighters responded to a mass casualty event at the Astro World Festival, where people were being crushed against the stage and many had already collapsed. We need somebody to help them. Somebody passed out right here. At 9.42, Scott stops the show for a third time to draw attention to someone in the crowd who needed help, according to the Apple live stream. Security, somebody help. Jump in real quick. Keep going. Here, an ambulance was seen in the crowd, unable to move while a man danced on top. The event plan showed that only two people had the authority to stop the show, the executive producer and the festival director. Police officials later told the Houston Chronicle that the promoter Live Nation agreed to cut the show short, but Scott continued his set. Scott's attorney told ABC News that Scott didn't know what was happening in the crowd during the time of the concert. And at 10.12, the Apple stream showed Travis Scott finishing the show and leaving the stage. Everybody, I love y'all. Make your home safe. Good night! as victims continued to be carried away. So, I think uh, they had like, I think at this point it's 10, vic- 10, 10 deaths. Uh, yeah, the, 8 to 10. Is it 10 officially? It's then? 10 officially. Okay. I know the, the young lady passed, I think. I think it was a young lady. And there was a boy, a nine-year-old. Was the last oh, one, and he finally it's terrible yeah so like the question that's going around is is it Travis's fault yeah well, that's one of the questions going around yeah you know, among other things yeah yeah well yeah yeah uh, was it his fault I think that's personally I I try to put myself in the performer's shoes in that instance because <clears throat> say you do a lot of shows and people get a little rowdy and people pass out probably a lot that's probably a normal thing for people to fall out or for uh, people to get carried off it might be normal for even an ambulance to show up to, to car somebody away right right you know depending on where you're at but so i don't as far as him recognizing that something was wrong, and there are some people who are pushing that narrative, I think that that's probably not that's not a good narrative to push. Uh, I don't think it was his fault. I'm gonna just be <coughs> up front. Forget all that other stuff. The only the only um, argument I heard for it being his his fault that made sense to me was uh, he sometimes has a tendency in other performances to get. To get his crowd really, really rowdy, really hyped up, and to encourage dangerous behavior. Okay, like Lil John. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? This isn't new. Come on, man, this isn't new. And if that's the kind of music you listen to, then yeah, you're gonna do like, if you don't give a damn, I'll give a, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, uh, move, get out the way and all that. This is the kind of music we've been listening to for a long time. So people who perform it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I just don't see how 
it would be one person's fault just because they are the one performing. Yeah. You know, there were so many other measures that could have taken place that I guess clearly wasn't, but no. No. They 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 knew that there was a um issue with the crowd yeah. beforehand because earlier that uh earlier that day people had rushed the entrance. And there's, okay. there's video of that too, of people rushing the entrance and just knocking everything over. It looks like a like a stampede, you know, people <laughs> just going. Stampede! <laughs> it's a stampede! <laughs> Who's that, a lion king or something? <laughs> Who's on one of those? <laughs> Big Ben were having issues, and I don't know if somebody told him that or let him know, or, or maybe they just was like, well, this is normal and whatever. It'll, it'll yeah. be all right. It's because it's always all right. <laughs> Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that kind of complacency combined with like just indifference. They're like, we making money anyway. Nothing generally happens besides a few scrapes and bruises. It'll be all right. So like what, you know, what caused the, the whole stampede? Does, did they get to the <clears throat> bottom of that? I really don't know. It was just like people jumping over like, like just banister. Wilding. Just and like wild. where where it looked like where they normally sell tickets at, and the you know they cut you into four lines and all the lines are moving and stuff like that. It was just people just rushing through there running. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That's bizarre. <clears throat> yeah, and I, I mean I guess like now moving forward, just have better security. Uh, yeah, there are measures you. Yeah, there, there are measures that they didn't take that they probably should should have. have. Okay, yeah. so. But the question is, where, like, does that fall in Travis's hands at all? Does he have anything to do with the security? I don't really Man. think so. Yeah, yeah, he's an he's artist. just the artist. Yeah, <laughs> the other people do the work, work. Yeah, you know, like uh, figuring out where you're going to perform next, and if adequate security is there, <laughs> right, the, the, right. you know, he don't really have to touch all that. Right. So I just I just don't get the whole it's Travis. Him. He's the bad guy. Let's get him. It was him. Let's get him, fellas. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, it, it it really doesn't make, make sense to me just like first just being on stage and looking at somebody pass out and you know in in one of the videos Somebody passed out, and he was like, oh, oh, oh stop, and he helped him, you know? Yeah, yeah. He stopped the show for him. So, there's this other narrative going around that this was, like, willful. Like, Travis did this on purpose, and he knew this was going to happen. Amazing. This was a part of some kind of grand scheme of cult. Conspiracy. Yeah. Oh, there's my that. goodness. <laughs> Have y'all seen... The the lunacy <laughs> that has get, that, that this Travis Scott thing has given birth to. Oh my goodness! Um, blood sacrifice. Yeah. You, oh yeah. yeah. It's just tin foil hat all day, every day, <laughs> all night, every night. One bed, no pillowcase. One pillow. Like, are you serious? You know, like, are you serious? Are you taking the? You really taking the time? Like people died, right? Yeah. You really taking the time to to jump into this conspiracy, superstition nut job, uh, way of thinking, and say that this was a blood sacrifice. So, like, how you know that? How would you know that? How you know that? Because people die. People die every day. Be. Yeah. So. If it what is, are we talking did he, about? Did he did he do the same thing at his previous concert that he had? Yeah. Did he do it before then? How many sacrifices he needed on those? How many people died in that? Like, yeah, it's all Lucifer's fault. Come so on. How did we get there so quickly? I don't know. Wondering. I don't know. It's <laughs> the I guess it's the same people who always just like something. Uh, you could get doo dooed on the head from a bird. Oh, the end times! Birds are poo pooing on people's head. <laughs> you know, like the end times are coming. It's just like, oh, I never seen such a group so horny for the end times. Yeah, you know, yeah. and it's the same people that's just going oh, with yeah. this blood rituals and sacrifices and 
uh, whatever a goat or something. I don't know. And yeah. the, what did the head structure was yeah. on like the an open, Simpsons? An open mouth to <laughs> it just souls. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that side by side? It was ridiculous. Yes, yeah, I saw oh all that, and gosh. I was like, "So we just gonna make this look like it's similar? We just gonna pretend right. that we're doing?" I bet if you go anywhere, you can probably find that kind of imagery on something somewhere in the world. Like, <laughs> but we just gonna <laughs> they act like they somebody went. Like, you know how ninjas come from the ceiling? <laughs> Act like somebody went to hell, ninja down, and yeah. took a picture and went and back up they and got, printed it. And this, this was actual footage. No, a human being at some point painted this. It's just that simple. A human being, like, I can draw that myself. Not to that degree, but I can draw, like, demonic imagery. Like, yeah. why, why is there some sort of power... Like, I don't know where the power dynamic is coming from. Well, I guess it's coming from the people that died, apparently. The, the, their power, what the, how does it work? Does their power flow into into Travis, or does it go to hell first? And then gotta, get, gotta get processed, and then it goes. Uh, you know, you're playing with some demonic <laughs> stuff there, boy. Don't be asking those kind of questions. <laughs> A little imp gonna just uh, hop right uh, through the. Like, we're looking at gift holes in the mouth. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how the mechanics of it, man. I just know that the the superstition just needs to stop. Like, and I know it's closely tied to a person's uh, like religious affiliation, but seriously, everything isn't demonic. Like, it just isn't. Some things just happen. This is one of them. Yeah. Where security wasn't enough security. Another uh, whatever protocols just wasn't in play. Mm-hmm. And things happen. It's messed up, but it doesn't all have to revert back to some sort of superstition that you have about the world and how things work in that world. Right. Yeah. Damn, that should have been my final thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't fuck up. Talk. I was thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> uh, sounds like final final thought thoughts. <laughs> okay. I well, mine, uh my final thoughts basically let's not rush to convict to condemn somebody before we have all the information it's like there's no need to push it or to make assumptions about anything we're going to find out this was a too public an event for us not to have all of the information around it so just from the looks of it uh Seems like the security was too low. They probably knew beforehand that it was not enough and went ahead and did it anyway because money, why, why not? So the question becomes, how often do they do this type of thing? How part of the norm is that? Is for venue hosts to dismiss safety precautions. How often does that happen? And then we'll kind of have our answer to who's at fault here. You know, and maybe the whole industry needs to change. Maybe all of that. Maybe we need to start supplying them with money enough to create a a secure space to you know have fun. But we gotta find out now. Yeah. But let's not just rush the judgment. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's it. And the mm-hmm. conspiracy theories gotta stop. <laughs> So, so I'll say that. That's it. <laughs> oh my god! The conspiracy theories. I just <laughs> running around. Oh, uh, like uh, the talented artist it, right here. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what like puzzles me a little bit about that is is that they'll say that this is a demonic thing. And that demons have this sort of power. If you like talk about them, they could, yeah. you giving that manifest. energy. Yeah, they can yeah, manifest. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, so didn't you just post that on Facebook? Like, isn't this on your personal device inside your home? Did you stage today? Oh, you know, yeah. I wonder about these kind of things when they're talking about it and posting the, that imagery because yeah. it's not coming from people who don't believe it. It's coming from people who mm-hmm. do believe it. So <clears throat> I don't know. It's only, it's only your Facebook page. 
Yeah, it's on their Facebook can. page. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be there forever though. Like you, <laughs> yeah, it's not it's like you internet. can take it down. It's there. Once you put anything on the internet, it's there forever. Point blank, period. I know I work in tech. <laughs> and the internet thanks you. But thank you for listening to our ramblings. Follow us on IG. Be it at, at B Rider. Uh, mine is uh, chaos underscore nuke K for chaos. Yeah. And leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Keep throwing some videos at you. Absolutely. And I am B Rider, co host. J Bell. And this is Final, Final Thoughts. Thoughts. I just want to send out prayers to the, to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans, like, my fans really mean the world to me, and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And any time I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I just stop the show and, you know, help them get the help they need, you know? Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation.